guys and welcome back to a new weekly vlog. So I have had a lovely dressage lesson this morning with Flickr. She was such a good girl. She's just, oh, she's just the best. She's coming on so well now. So that was a lovely way to start the morning. That was at half past seven. So I've come home. I've showered and I'm about to do my morning skincare and then get ready for the day because today, so I've got quite a nice day today to be honest. I'm heading down to, um, I'm, I'm heading down to like Beaconsfield and Marlow area. So basically to stop me waffling on, there's a few really, really nice like interiors shops there that um, I've been following for a while on Instagram and I'll, to be honest I wanted to go when we were in um, the last house before we moved here and um, it just never kind of came into fruition so um, I'm actually going to go down today because also I am heading down to stay at my friend's house she lives not too far from Oxford because we're all going to Royal Ascot tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. I'll show you what I'm wearing um, later. Um, but yeah, we just go in like all of the girls together. So yeah, I probably won't vlog Ascot just because it's it's not like I'm going with like I'm not I've not been invited as you know an influencer. I've not been in, like invited. I'm not going with a brand. Um, the opportunity did come up, but I'd already got tickets for my friends to be honest and. Yeah, I wasn't going to bail on them, so yeah, so I probably won't film it, it's a bit more of just a girly, just time switched off with my friends kind of day. But yeah, first I'm going down to, as I said, Beckensville and Marlow, going to a couple of um, interior places that I wanted to go to. One of them is called Home Barn. I've been following them on Instagram for a while now, they're basically as the name would probably give it away they're in a big like old barn and um, they have really really lovely like rustic -y, farmhouse style kind of like interiors and seeing as we are kind of you know in the process of doing this house I thought it'd now be a good time to actually go down and just see what little goodies that they've got seeing as I'm down there anyway so Andy's coming with me and um, so we're both going to go and have a little mooch around there Staying at my friend's house, Ascot tomorrow, and then it's back home, and yeah, just a normal, normal day. I also got the best message this morning, so, oh my gosh, I look so pale, considering I have actually caught the sun a little bit, I feel like my face, well, actually, why am I surprised, SPF 50, I'm not going to have caught the sun on my face, am I? Um, but yeah, I got the best text this morning. So the in the last, if you watch the last vlog, you'll see that I introduced you to our neighbours' chickens, who I love. They're so sweet. I've made firm friends with them, and I love them so much. Anyway, got a text this morning with a picture of the cutest little ducklings ever, and they're getting ducklings in a couple of weeks. And I can't cope. Honestly, I would love to have ducks. I would just love to have ducks. I just love them so much. They're rescue ducks. So the chickens they've got were rescue chickens and these are rescue ducklings. So I'm just so excited. I, I literally said, when she sent me the picture, I literally said, you do realize the first quack I hear, I'm running around your house because I need to make friends now with the ducklings. But yeah, I would love to have ducklings or you know, something like that, but somehow with two cocker spaniels running round, I don't think it would be the ideal life for them. Desi, honestly, Desi and Bobby would just go wild. Anyway, let's actually crack on with some skincare. So I did wash my face in the shower. I used this. This is from Fresh. It's their soy, soy face cleanser. Um, really nice, really gentle, really hydrating. So I've used that. Now I'm going to use a little bit of vitamin C um, around my eyes. So this is the Murad uh, Vita C Eyes Dark Circle Corrector. I've been, God, I've been using this on and off for so long now. I do just tend to dabble between, um, between products. I love how it just instantly adds that little bit of brightness under your eye, it's just lovely. And then I'm gonna use from Ulay Henriksen, the Barrier Booster Orange Ferment Essence. 
it's essentially like a vitamin C. I love this um, glass bottle. I usually just whoop, put a little bit in my hands and press it into the skin. I feel like the last like week and a bit, well, probably this week as well, to be honest, has just not felt like a like proper weeks you know like when you go on holiday and your body kind of goes into holiday mode that's kind of how my body feels i feel like i've had so many just lovely plans with like andy and my friends and everything for my birthday it's been really nice to kind of switch off a little bit but i do need to pull my finger out for next week and get back into my normal routine but I've enjoyed it, I'm not gonna lie. Right, so now that's done, I'm gonna use some moisturizer. I'm gonna use the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream today. Just fancy a bit of this. Oh, God, I'm running out of this, actually. And then while that is still yet to like fully sink in, I'm gonna add a couple of my tanning drops to it because, <laughs> as I said, my face does not ever get a real tan. Um, these are the ones I really like using. These are from Isle of Paradise, the self tanning drops. I usually use the shade dark, but um, to be honest, I have used medium before and they've worked just as well, but I just find with dark, I get away with using less drops. So I literally just pipette one drop onto my forehead and that kind of covers my entire head, my eyelids, kind of around my temples. One drop on my cheek. And that will do the whole of like this half of my face. I always make sure just to quickly like kind of rub it over my ear and just bring it down my neck. Just so that I don't have a weird like line or white ears next to a tanned face. And then one drop this side. So three drops for my entire face is all I use. And it just brings on the nicest colour. There we go. So now that's done, thoroughly wash your hands. The uh, postman just came to the door, so I took the opportunity to make my morning iced coffee while I'm here. Started having them in mason jars. Don't ask me why. I'm one of those people where I feel like the um, container that you drink, you drink from makes it taste better. And iced coffee in a mason jar just does it. Anyway, I'm going to get this out of the bathroom because that's a bit gross and i'm just going to do the final step of my skincare routine which is obviously spf 50. still using my ultraviolet spf 50 and um, this one that i got sent to try and i'm now absolutely loving i just love how nicely this sits underneath makeup it gives your skin a lovely glow it doesn't make your skin um like pill or anything it's just a really lovely SPF 50. And I think this will be really lovely as well, continuing um, to use this into the winter when um, your skin might be a little bit more dry. I feel like it'll just give you that really good glow. There we go, skincare done. Anyway, I'm gonna go and finish off getting ready. I need to do my makeup, get changed. I also need to pack my bag. I've not been very organized. <laughs> I think my dressage lesson this morning is kind of put me a little bit behind the mark when it comes to time, but it's fine. I'm gonna go and get ready now and then I will, um, yeah, continue the vlog when I have stopped fannying around and putting products on my face. I've just finished getting myself ready. My dressing room that you can't see around me is a mess, but I'm wearing this two piece again from Mango. Um, I wore it a couple of vlogs ago, but it's so good for just throwing on when the weather's nice and warm I feel really put together in it and really nice so yeah I'm wearing this again to go down um, to have a look around the shops and then I'm also going to my friend Natalie's house this evening and yeah spending the night there so I was just about to pack my outfit for Ascot and I thought I'd quickly show you my dress this is the dress it does need a little bit of a steam but this is it how lovely is this i'm gonna feel so nice wearing this it's from Anne louise boutique they have some really gorgeous dresses but i just love this i love the kind of like flower detail on it it gives it that proper not 3d well kind of like 3d effect i like that it's got some like texture on it and but yeah it's very different to what i would usually like 
go for but if i'm being completely honest i didn't like my dress that i wore last year i wore this green dress last year and it was from revolve and the dress itself was nice i didn't feel like it was very ascot and i don't know i felt quite uncomfortable in it throughout the day and yeah i think it had like a leg like a thigh like leg split in it and i don't know i just feel like it would have been better for more of like an evening wear dress and yeah i just it, i really wasn't a fan of it but i thought this would be so lovely i also realized that a bag that i've got just from new look would go so perfectly with it like look at the colors how perfectly does that go i was actually going to get like a tan bag and wear tan shoes with it but i think i'm just going to keep the whole vibe quite light and quite summery it's going to be nice weather as well thank god can you imagine this dress if it was raining how sad would these flowers look on this dress it would literally look like wilted lettuce was stuck to my dress so thank the lord it's going to be nice weather um i'm taking a couple of options with me in terms of shoes i've got a gold pair of shoes i've got a white pair of shoes but yeah i'm not sure i'm also deciding do i have my hair up or down i always feel like with high necked dresses it's always nice to have your hair up, but I'm not the best at updos, to be honest. So I don't know, I might have to have a little bit of a play tomorrow. It's hard to tell, isn't it, until you've got your dress on sometimes and you know, your makeup's done and you kind of, um, sometimes you can wing it and go from there. But yeah, this is what I shall be wearing. So I need to pack this and then we're gonna get on the road. I feel like it's proper deja vu whenever I put the camera on in the car because there was a lot of car footage in the last vlog i've just been admiring my um my forehead in in the mirror i've got i don't know why my hair's growing um growing my hair's sorry sorry can andy just sort this car out as i was saying i've been admiring my um <laughs> my forehead my hair's going through some mad growth spurt at the minute and i've got so much baby hair coming through you're not gonna be able to see it on camera it's really annoying but i've basically got all around my forehead really like snowy white bleach blonde baby hair coming through it's so fair i look like how i used to look when i was like 12 or 13 i always used to have short baby hair around here and it's just i don't know what it is at the minute i know you have certain times of the year don't you when your hair go goes through like a growth spurt i don't know what it is maybe the sunshine has bought oh it's a bit bright maybe the sunshine has brought mine on but yeah i've got loads of bright blonde little hairs here i'm gonna let them grow let them do their thing but anyway we've just got down to uh beaconsfield we're going to a couple of um little home places here then the plan is we'll probably grab some lunch and then we'll be uh, we'll go to marlow and yeah go to a couple of places i've wanted to go to for a little while the weather is glorious still which is lovely so yeah let's head off around the shops and have a little little explore coffee table book yeah. like the, the coffee table is quite nice as well yeah i think if, if i didn't have the coffee table we've got now in the living room that's the sort of thing i would have it's good size wow look at the size of these um reed diffusers <laughs> that that is literally bigger than my hand wow Sofa. That's nice. I like the um again this coffee table's nice. Yeah, With the really books nice. and those vases. Yeah, that's cool. It's a nice dining table. 
Oh, I love that table, actually. How nice is that? Yeah, that is nice. That's really lovely. That's not too dissimilar to ours that's coming. No. And that, um, that big vase, that's nice. Is that a drinks trolley? Yeah, that's cool. That's nice, isn't it? Console table's really nice. We yeah, do like, like, we do need another console table where the dog's beds are at the minute, don't we? Yeah, it's a bit too long, isn't it? I feel like this looks like you know all films have like that ornament that's on the side that, that the main character would grab for to defend themselves. <laughs> we haven't got that ornament. <laughs> that looks like it could be good. If our utility was a bit bigger. You put some nice yeah, some nice cushions there. It's nice to have in like a boot room, isn't it? Pop like your Wellington boots under there. I do wish our like utility was a bit bigger to have something like that. Oh, that's lovely. Look at that um, table. Oh, that's cool. That's really nice, isn't it? I like these big lamps as well, actually, they're quite nice. I think this might be an essential purchase at some point. Yeah. <laughs> champagne bucket on a stand. Got another, um, another champagne bucket here, but with handles. That's nice. That's very similar to our dining table, isn't it, that? Yeah. The one that we're going to be having. Yes. Very similar. This is nice. It's similar to the living room yeah, one. Yeah. Do you think that could work? With it? Is that a bit wide still? Yeah. It's a bit big. Yeah, They've got lovely dining tables in here. This is quite nice. You know, maybe for the spare room, we need a chest of drawers. Mm. That's quite nice, isn't it? Nice little, um, like, console table, isn't it? Or side table. Yeah, you know, nice. if you had, like, a hallway. Oh, I like you, that. You, nice could have that you could have that in the middle. <laughs> the top hat. Yeah. <laughs> We've got some nice office bits here. Nice desk and chair. Oh, look at these Chanel Louis Vuitton. They're cool, then. Pictures, they're cool, aren't they? For, like, a big dressing room or something. Yeah. Or a girl's bedroom. They're really nice. Look at the chairs, Bob. Oh, yeah. I feel like when I'm walking around here, all I keep saying is that's nice, that's nice. But it is. It's all very nice. That's nice. That nice. <laughs> that's very similar to what we're having in the living room. Where is it? Next to the fireplace, yeah. So we're going to have that, the fireplace, and then the chair. So, guys, we're looking at dining chairs. Which do we prefer? Do we prefer this with the fabric bum? And these are to go with a round dining table. Similar to that, but just a lighter shade. Or do we prefer this dining chair with a non-fabric bum, but still very comfortable? I don't know if I'm edging towards these or not. Oh, <laughs> I love that. Have you seen that? That's so cute. That's the kind of cool picture I'd like at the spare room. Do you know what I mean? I think it's yeah. quite... It's quite funny, I love it. Oh, I like this. That's lovely. Do you like this? Yeah. More horsey heads. I think Andy's banned me from anything horsey in the house. Yeah. I've got my picture. I don't like him anyway. I don't like it when they show them with their mouths open like that and their manes. No. I've just noticed that um, chandelier there is so nice. Isn't this light just so cool? This chandelier with all the leaves on them. So pretty. If I had like a huge dining room with a high ceiling like this, I'd love that. Just over the dining table. So nice. I really like this little drinks trolley, this brass one. I just like that it's not too big. No, I like the idea of a drinks trolley. I don't know how practical it would be with Desi no, and Bolly. I, I feel like it looks very nice styled up, but realistically can we have that sat in the kitchen with glasses on it when we've got two cocker spaniels <laughs> running around with balls and toys but i do like the idea of it it's a nice idea not practical i do really like this picture though <laughs> Spare room. so we've just stopped off at brasserie blanc for a little refuel had a glass of wine 
just picked up some nibbly bits. I think we're probably going to grab grab some proper food later. And then once we've had this, we're going to head over to Marlow and go to the place I've been wanting to go for ages, Home Barn. So when, when me and Andy were on um, holiday last year, we did a wine tasting class. We've only ever done one. And now whenever we get a glass of wine, I have to have a little look what colour it is. She said pear. I can see green, so I'm thinking there's pear in here. Or try apple. It, try it. it. Smells like wine. <laughs> Back in the car, on our way to Home Barn in Marlow. Can I just say as well, can I give everyone a heads up that um, this vlog, the last like two or three vlogs have been very, very heavy on the chilling side of life, haven't they? That's all you do. Can I, can I just tell everyone, I do actually work. These are, these like, last couple of vlogs have been very out of the ordinary for my birthday. We wouldn't usually just stroll on down, go and do some home shopping, have a glass of wine in the middle <laughs> of the day. This is, I think this is very much birthday month. It's not even a birthday week anymore, is it? It's no, been very much a birthday month. I think it, it just so happens that all of our plans, like going to see Mickey Flanagan, doing this, and my birthday, they've all just happened really close together. So for anyone watching thinking, does this girl have a job? Does she work? What is this girl doing? I'm living my best life, obviously. But yeah, this is very much an out of the ordinary, usual week in the life <laughs> kind of vlog. I've very much enjoyed it. June's been a very lovely month. I feel like I've had a bit of a holiday month. I think it's because I've not been vlogging while I've been working as well. What do you mean it's a holiday month? It's no, your average you, Wednesday to Friday. Yeah, my, this is my usual Wednesday to Friday. Well, there we go. That speaks for itself. I've not, I've not started the vlog on a Monday because I've been working Monday, Tuesday solidly because I've had Wednesday, Thursday off. But um, I just I like vlogging the more fun stuff. It, I feel like I'm, I vlog in the house every week. A bit boring. And, well, it can just. I, I mean, I know people don't mind watching it, but I um, get a bit same old, same old for me. So it's nice being able to vlog this stuff. You'll all complain when I'm stuck in the house in winter and I'm never leaving. So yeah, now we're just on our way to Home Barn. Gonna have a little look around there and then Andy's gonna be dropping me off at my friend's house. I've got um I've got two bags of goodies for my friends as well. So when obviously I'm very lucky that I get sent lots of like PR parcels and creams and products and lovely things, but the fact of the matter is I don't have enough faces to use them on. I just can't I, I can't use them enough and believe me when I say I donate a lot of stuff. Like how many bags of stuff? leave our house it's ridiculous yeah, it's me because i have to sort them all out because andy has to take them <laughs> but um but no so when i see my friends i like to go and take bags of goodies and they, they literally it's like a lucky dip they just go in grab They're everything like animals yeah they are. It's like throwing a piece of steak in with the hyenas and they're like, whoa, I'll have this, 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 this. I even saw someone run off they'll with the bag them. ones. If they, if they watch this, I'll be like, charming. No, they are, they're very, very grateful. But no, I've got two bags of goodies for my friends as well. No, to be fair, I'm seeing my friends um, this week, like for, for my birthday. Obviously, we're going to, um, going to Ascot, but um, it's a bit of a birthday thing. It always falls around my birthday, so... We kind of just make it a bit of a thing, like a joint celebration, in a way. Here it is guys, we've arrived, home barn, antiques. No, but you could have some of these and have nice plants in them, yeah, you know, yeah. along the edges of the house. Yeah, like Those little pots. These are nice terracotta pots as well, aren't they? Those are lovely things. Nice. Got all these lovely big rustic ones as well. Oh wow. Oh wow, look at it in here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> More horses. Oh, these bags are nice. I actually really like that. I think that's gorgeous. Gosh, I don't know which direction it's looking first. I love that. It's really nice. different sized vases so pretty and these all the um mm. it's a lovely side, like vintage sideboards isn't it really yeah. nice isn't it 
They've got um, really nice cushions and things all here as well. Really lovely. Have you seen these book stacks that they've got? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they're really nice, aren't they? Oh, look at these plates. I think they're so cute. I like these ones, you know, just for more... Probably yeah. You probably wouldn't use these day to day. These would be quite nice if you had like a barbecue or... Mm. But I quite like these for like day to day. Because they're all a bit... Um, all like a little bit imperfect, aren't they? Yeah. Like just a little bit different. How much are these, just for reference? £26. Ooh, for one bowl. <laughs> that works out to be pretty pricey. Considering I smashed them every week. Yeah, considering Andy chips one a week. <laughs> I don't think they'd last very long in our house, but really like them. How much are these ones actually? These are gorgeous. I love these. Why do you not serving up your salads in this bowl? That's not bad actually, same price, 24 yeah. for the, um, is it cabbage or lettuce? Is there any way to tell? I'm going to say it's cabbage. It's really nice. I really, oh God, I do really love these plates, you know. They are really nice. They do such lovely little, um, like, table setups, don't they? Yeah. Look nice to get a bit of, um, a bit of inspo. That's how napkins are supposed to look in napkin rings. Mine look a bit shoddy compared, <laughs> compared to that one. When I try to do them, they never look as good as that. Oh, I've got some more really lovely plates and things over here. Oh, look at these. Oh my gosh, I love these. Oh, these are nice, aren't they? Let's have a little look. Oh, I've not got a price on these ones. It's not usually a good sign. <laughs> have you spotted any glasses that you like? I know you wanted some new glasses. That is nice, isn't it, for water? Do they have any glasses to match? No. I need some green water glasses to match my wine glasses. No, well, it was like Aladdin's cave in there. So that was home barn in... Sorry, I don't know why What I just, were you why doing? Why did I just do that? That was so stupid. Carry on. It was so lovely. That was home barn. It was basically full of like, how do you, would you describe it? It's like vintagey and there's like a mix, a really good mix of like vintage, antique, new, rustic stuff <laughs> there's so much stuff there's everything from furniture to little like glasses vases just everything you could wish for they also had a little like outdoor like furniture garden section oh i've just made you go all wonky there we go Andy, you're gonna have to be in it, I'm afraid. That's all right. <laughs> so I thought I'd just quickly show you a couple of the little bits that I did pick up. But first thing I picked up was this lovely bowl. As you can see, all of the stuff I picked up is gonna be very, very rustic-y. And I just like having the kind of things where you look at it and you don't know where it's from. <laughs> you look at it and you go, did you make that? Can you see how funny he finds himself? <laughs> <laughs> so annoying. Cut. You're so annoying, you that's don't like funny. my bowl. No, I do like it, it's nice. I think that's so lovely, putting some cute little bits in that. Mm. On like a nice side table with a nice coffee table book. Yeah, that's nice. Look, I have the vision, okay? Should we put it back in the bag? Put it back in the bag. How dare you mock my vision. That was the first thing that we bought, a lovely bowl. So I also got this little... Urn. Urn? Is that what it's called? An urn? No, it's called Vintage French Jug Number 3. Okay. <laughs> I got this lovely little jug. Um, I'm kind of envisioning this on a media... Well, we've not got it yet. We're having some built-in shelves done in that back room. And there's going to be about six shelves, obviously need, you know, trinkets and bits and bobs on them. And I'm picturing this on there. We need, like, bits. And we are lacking in bits. So I saw this, I love the colour, love the style. Thought that will go lovely on there. And I also got this other jug. This one's a bit more of like a vase. Again, this can either go on, like, a side table or on one of the built-in shelves. They're being done in a couple of weeks. Oh. Two weeks. When this vlog goes live, two weeks, they'll be they'll be done. They'll be built. That's exciting. I got this one. It's a bit more of like a rustic-y terracotta one. But again, this might not even go on the shelves. It might sit on top of a nice, like, coffee table book, display book, or, 
yeah I just think it's so good to have these kind of things and you know it can double up as a nice vase on the dining table it's just it's very handy handy nice. thing to have very really good. nice I highly recommend a little trip into home barn there's some gorgeous bits really lovely or have a look on their Instagram well I have got my cup of tea and I've also got myself a little lemon drizzle cake a little mini lemon drizzle cake from M&S honestly it's one of my favorite things ever I need to have a bite before I even speak to you because it's that good anyway guys it has actually been god it's been about a week and a half maybe nearly two weeks since I picked up the camera not that you guys will know that but I'm just being honest and telling you. So the last time I vlogged was actually, um, yeah, when me and Andy went shopping down south before even going to Ascot. So that's how long ago it was. I had the loveliest day with my friends, just to say that now. It was so lovely. When I got to her house, they'd set up this little like surprise for me. There was like balloons and they'd got me like a present and it was just really, really cute. And I had such a good day. It was so nice being with them all. And then, I don't really know what happened when I got back but when I got back home and I kind of got myself into the swing of things you know back into my normal routine I don't know what it was I was just feeling very very like out of sorts just not myself whatsoever um I just had I had zero like I had no motivation to pick up the camera and vlog I really wasn't in a great headspace I was just full of not not even full of anxiety I was just I was just feeling really sad and I don't know whether it was almost like I don't know like a come down from my birthday and being around all my friends and I don't know what it was but I definitely felt one thing I was feeling a lot I was feeling really really lonely and it kind of I think once I've been around all my friends and the thing is, my friends live in you know, different parts of the country. Like I've got, you know, my closest friends, one's in Manchester, one's in Oxford. And even though we speak every day, it's not the same as like that human connection and that interaction. And yeah, I think I was just feeling really lonely. And I think where we used to live before we moved here, I had my... I had like a couple of friends that were literally within like 30, no exaggeration, like 30 seconds, one minute away. So if I was ever feeling, not even feeling down, if I just wanted to do something like let's meet, let's go for breakfast or let's just go for dinner or I'll just come round mine or I'll come round yours. It was very easy to do and not that I took it for granted, but I just, I had, I was just closer. Um, whereas now it's I very much don't have that living here we are very much secluded and I don't know maybe it just dawned on me a bit more and I just I was, like I said I was just feeling lonely and I you know that that emotion hasn't left me I've just come to terms with it I've just realized what it was that I was feeling but yeah and I think because I was so used to it in my old house I very much have always enjoyed being like the hosting house if that makes sense i've always loved people coming around my house i love having friends over whether it's like a spontaneous night in with a takeaway or a planned thing i love i love being the house that everyone can come to and it's i think i've lost that since moving here and don't get me wrong i'm not saying this to be all you know woe is me i'm very grateful to live in this house um but I think it's definitely solidified for me and Andy. I mean, we knew when buying this house, it was always going to be, um, it wasn't, I mean, I don't look at any house and say that's our forever home. I think it's impossible to put that label on a house, especially, you know, we were in our 20s when we both, you know, when we bought this. I think it's impossible to say at any point in life, right, we're going to be here forever. Cause you never know what's going to happen, do you? So we we did come into this house knowing that we're probably not going to be here forever but we're going to be here for a while um but i think we have maybe realized that although this house as a house could be like a forever house i love the house but 
maybe just the area that we're in isn't our forever area and I think eventually we are going to move just so that we're not so out of it in terms of like everyone that we know like we're not even close to any family here um and you know we were kind of like chatting and saying if you know I don't even know if we will but if we ever decide to have a baby or you know start a family is this the best scenario to do it in when I feel so secluded and on my own because I don't really have anyone around like to help or offer support I'm very much secluded so yeah we were kind of chatting about that about areas that we would eventually kind of settle more in and I think it will be further down south um, as that's where Andy's family live as well and we know the area and yeah but yeah it was just it was I was just I wasn't, I wasn't feeling my best to be honest guys so I just had to take a week or two to just uh, sort my head out really but anyway I'm glad to say I'm feeling much better now as I'm filming this outro I have already started the next vlog so I'm going to be back to uploading my normal schedule. Work has started at the house, so you'll have to tune into the next vlog. So I'm going to be showing you so many updates. It's all happening. So yeah, just wanted to give a little explanation of why there wasn't a vlog for a couple of weeks. Because um, I don't like leaving you guys hanging. And I like to be completely transparent. So that's just the deal, guys, of what was happening. But no more of that. I'm feeling much better now. So with that, guys, I'm going to end this vlog here. And... I'll see you next week, 100% for the next one. Bye, guys.